Hello, people! I don't know if you can tell what this game is from the title screen, it's quite obvious. It is Supremacy, otherwise known as Overlord in the United States of America. And it's a strategy game made by David Perry and uh, Nick Bruti. Produced by Probe Software, initially released for the Atari ST and Amiga computers. I had both, and they were very good. Uh, it was also ported to the Commodore 64, which was also a very good version. Good uh, Sid music on that one. And it came to DOS a year later, in 91, I believe. Also, it was ported to the NES, which was quite an obscure release and quite rare, but you know, it was commendable, commendable. So, uh, you are some chap who owns a nice planet, and you've got to defeat one of these. Uh, we have difficulty levels which change. I think you can, you have to start with, uh, and then you can scroll through them like this. So this is the rock hard bloke, who is, you know, he's, he's pretty mean looking. If you were on his planet, you'd be worried, wouldn't you, if he was controlling you. Um, uh, I think we'll start with the easiest one, who is Wotok, who is of a species Banana Abds. Yep, that's him. He's got a horn as well. I'm not sh sure what sort of horn he has, but he has got one. So here's the main screen. This is pretty much all you see. This is where you come back to. Messages scroll down this side of the screen. At the moment, they tell you all this, who it's made by, credits, enemy presence has been registered. And this is the Starbase. Um, you can scroll through the planets like this. As you can see, these ones are all lifeless. This is your enemy base. You've got no alternative but to fight him. It's not like you can make peace in this game. You just have to take over the entire star system using a series of terraforming techniques and army techniques. Here's your army you can build up, so you can assign a specific amount of your civilians as troops. It's a very fascist re fascist regime, obviously. This is like, they haven't got a choice. And then, once they're trained, you can suit them up with an armor, and you can suit them up as weapons. If I remember, the best thing to do is just to max everything out straight away, save some money, and then just kill the shit out of everyone. So, that is probably what I'll do. But first, I need to get a few things. So, you need an atmosphere processor. Yep, we do. The atmosphere processor is to terraform the other planets. And it looks quite similar to the one you get in Aliens. Sort of. Maybe not. Here it is. Anyway, um... Okay, it's being redesigned, so I can't buy it. But I can buy a... What's this? Satellite thing, which will provide energy for the planet. And I can buy this platoon-carrying ship, which I will call Battle One. Being original. Right-click to get back to the menu. And then you can... Uh, where do we go? Where do we go? We go to... Uh, ship screen. Here we go. Here's my Battle 1 ship, I can give it a crew and I can chuck a load of civilians on board for if I want to take them to another planet and increase the population somewhere. It's also useful if your resources are running out on your home planet and you've got spare planets, you can ship them out to another planet. Go on, bog off and they can go and eat the bread and the insects on the other planet. So here is that, that's done, uh, go back here and I can, ooh I need to fuel it, battle one, pump it fuel of fuel, diesel I hear, and I can stick that in orbit and then once I've terraformed another planet, which I can do once the atmosphere processor is ready, then I can send it off to processor planet. I also have my solar ship which I will dump into orbit and to give me solar energy, something which 
we as humans have yet to do. I think we'd need more than a satellite to produce solar energy. Can I buy it yet? Nope, still being redesigned. But I can buy stuff like this. I can buy a farming base and I can buy a mining ship. Which I will call farming one and mining one respectively. Give it a crew. Give that a crew. Go back to here. No, not here. Where am I going? Here. And then I can assign them to places on the planet and set them up and running. So we've got a mining ship and a farming ship which will produce mining and food. Obviously. Okay. Uh, if we press I here, we get information about what I've got and what I haven't got. And you can send, I can send a spy to this planet if I want to, to look at all these things, but I won't bother. And I can, ooh, I've got an atmosphere processor available. So, if we go to this screen, I can buy myself an atmosphere processor, which I'll call... Pin! Uh, pinner! That'll do. And then I can go to here. No, not here. Here. I can assign it a crew. And I can dump it there. It's going to take 41 days. We'll call planet one. What should we call planet one? Quagla. Quagler. There we go, and it's formatting it just like a three and a half inch floppy. Burn the hell out of it. Um. Okay, if we go back to my uh, army screen, you can see these guys are fully trained. I've got twelve thousand five hundred thirty-seven credits. This will cost me ten. Oh my word. 109,000 credits. I can't afford that. So I need to lower my plans. This is going to cost me 20,000. I've only got 13,000 credits. I can't even buy the most basic of basic Arnold Schwarzenegger commando like of armies yet. Which is disappointing. I could lower my troops and it would cost less, but there's no point in this game in making troops, making platoons of less than 200 troops because it's going to get you nowhere. And these guys, if I deploy them, they're just shit. They're going to get wiped out. Look, they're like... I mean, if they were all Arnies, then they might succeed. I mean, he did take on Predator single-handedly, but this guy is no Arnie. He's not even... <laughs> Sylvester Stallone, is he? He's not going to do anything. He's got no eyes. My God. Uh, but once I've deployed them, which I will once I've got enough money. I will put them on a ship and I'll just send them to the enemy base just to have a quick battle before I get the hell out of here and go and make myself a cup of tea, which I will. It, once you've got the hang of this game, you can whip through it quite easily. I played it so much. It was one of my favourite games on the Amiga and Atari ST, but you just kind of get the hang of what you need to do and, you, you know, you can just... Like all games like this, there's a strategy which will let you hammer through the game and once you've worked it out, you can own the shit out of it. So, now I can buy these guys. There we go, platoon equipped. I can then go back to... Oh look, he's not happy. I've got some... I'm training my troops and he's like, Oh no, you cannot train your troops. Red phase 2 activated from my... from Wotok. He must be spying on me, clearly. So, did I buy a ship? No, I haven't bought a ship yet. So, here, I'll buy a battle cruiser. It's in a docking bay. I'll go to the docking bay. I'll fill it up on lots of fuel and I'll put some crew on it. And then I can assign some people to it somehow. How do I do that? 
There we go. Truck bear mine's a battle too. And you can change their aggression level, so... The more aggressive they fight... I can't remember the advantages and disadvantages, but if you're more aggressive and you kill things... I'm very sorry about that. I seem to have wiped out all the space on my hard drive. Apparently recording DOS games takes up a lot of space. Anyway, so what I've done is I've assigned 200 of my troops to this guy. I've put them at max aggression, so they'll probably get wiped out quite quick, but they'll die with a, a fight in their hearts. A spy has been caught on our base. I, did, I didn't send a spy, but alright, fine. Huge electromagnetic swarm has swept across the galaxy affecting equipment. See, this happens and then your satellites get wiped out and bad things happen. But I was in the progress process of sorting my battleship out. It's got troops on it, so... Where is it? Battle 2. Now in orbit, and I'm going to send it to my enemy base. It's going to take seven days. He's going to get pretty pissy. Yep, yeah, they'll be destroyed. Wotok. All right, Wotok, bring it on. In the meantime, this ooh, planet has been terraformed. And you get different types of planet, and they have different um, pros and cons. This is like a lovely tropical planet. Look at that. I can send farming equipment there, and it should yield higher crops, I believe. Uh, where's my ship? It's still en route. I guess if I go to this screen, then I can... No, can't do that. I'm lying. I'm making things up as I go. Battle 2 is now in orbit above enemy... Above the enemy! Planet! Now I can land it, and then I can go to my war screen, and then I can deploy them! And watch! Look, this is my total strength, 477. This is theirs, and I'll get quite quickly wiped out. And I'm dead. Oh well, you know, shit happens. And that is the basic premise of Supremacy or Overlord. I don't know why they give American games crappy artwork and strange names, but they seem to. I mean, it's not beyond the American people to understand the word Supremacy, is it? They don't need artwork that looks like it's been written by a baby's nappy. Or diaper. I don't know. I don't get it. Marketing. Strange marketing. Anyway, this is Supremacy, one of my favourite games of the 90s. This is the DOS version, not as good as the Amiga version, but this was easier to record and more accessible, and it's pretty similar. So, there you go. I hope you enjoyed it, and give it a go if you get a chance. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.